Low clouds, fog, little on the cool side, perfect for a uh, morning run, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, just about everybody in the Tampa Bay area experiencing some kind of low clouds and fog at this hour. Coastal communities are going to really start to clear out much quicker than everybody else. But let's go to downtown and the shot from the Visit Tampa Bay camera. You can see that fog bank right there just hanging in with us. And inland toward Lakeland, uh, zero visibility in many areas. So 65 degrees right now feels like 65. Dew points at 64 degrees. Dew points are going to stay relatively benign the next few days and then take a dive after this front comes through Wednesday Thursday the humidity way up there at 97 percent right now so here's your headlines uh, weekend weather it's really looking fairly nice other than the low clouds and fog which will burn off here shortly uh, very nice and very sunny afternoons both today and tomorrow and then that cold front starts moving in by next week so let's take a look at today tonight tomorrow and see what we've got in in store 79 uh, for the daytime high today with mostly sunny skies 64 for the overnight low tonight we'll see a return of the low clouds and fog again tonight and early tomorrow morning and then 79 for your daytime high on Sunday tomorrow all right let's go over to the weather board I want to show you what's going on with regard to the uh, satellite and radar fairly clear for us we've got some moisture off to our north and east right now not going to affect us at all going in a little closer there's really nothing to report it's the visibility it's the low clouds and fog right now that we're really dealing with and again this should all burn off by about noon today Citrus County visibility down to about a quarter mile in many areas there same for look at Bartow zero uh, Winter Haven quarter mile visibility Lakeland half a mile visibility Sebring a zero at visibility right now and just one fog advisory in effect it's way up to our north it's Marion County that's in effect till 9 a.m. Uh, this morning so we are inundated with the fog all of our flow coming out of the north and northeast let me get rid of that graphic for you real quick and just show you that by noon you might be able to see some patch fog right there. Everybody else clears out nicely. By noon, a little bit of a remainder of patchy low clouds and fog. This is especially Hardy, DeSoto counties, those areas. That will burn off by about one, about an hour behind everybody else. And then by midnight tonight, look what starts moving into the area again. Can you make that out on your screen? Low clouds and fog starts moving in again. And by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to be dealing with the same situation we have today. By 6 p.m. on Sunday, complete wind shift change. Uh, a short wave of energy starts to move through by Monday. And so so we pick up that cloud cover and that flow then the upper levels from west to east and you can see how the cloud cover really starts picking up by about Monday or so with a slight chance of rain for northern uh, communities, Citrus, uh, Pasco County, on Monday and then a better chance of rain coming for everybody by Wednesday and Thursday and as I mentioned the dew points not changing a whole lot until that front comes through boom and then they take a complete dive uh, by the time that front gets out of here seven day forecast areas of morning fog and then sunny and warm 79 for the daytime high today 79 on Sunday slight chance of rain for citrus and Pasco counties on Monday and then by Wednesday Thursday really we really start picking up our rain chances by Thursday at about 50 percent right now Angelina